An understudy must know the lead role completely and be willing to step into it at a moment's notice. Eliezer was an excellent understudy, well trained for his eventual leading role. However, his moments in the spotlight were painful. On one occasion, he watched his two older brothers burn to death for failing to take God's holiness seriously. Later, as his father was dying, he was made high priest, surely one of the most responsible and therefore, potentially, stressful positions in Israel. An understudy benefits from having both the script and the human model of the role. Ever since childhood, Eliezer had been able to observe Moses and Aaron period now he could learn from watching Joshua. In addition, he had God's laws to guide him as he worked as a priest and advisor to Joshua. Strengths and Accomplishments Succeeded his father, Aaron, as high priest. Completed his father's work by helping lead the people into the promised land. Teamed up with Joshua. Acted as God's spokesman to the people. Lessons from his life. Concentrating on our present challenges and responsibilities is the best way to prepare for what God has planned for our future. God's desire is consistent obedience throughout our lives. Vital Statistics Where, Sinai Wilderness, Promised Land Occupation, Priest and High Priest Relatives, Father, Aaron Brothers, Nadab, Abihu, and Ithamor Aunt and Uncle, Miriam and Moses Contemporaries, Joshua, Caleb and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in Mount Hor, by the coast of the land of Edom, saying, Take Aaron and Eleazar his son, and bring them up until Mount Hor, and strip Aaron of his garments, and put them on Eleazar his son. He is mentioned in Exodus 6 verse 23, Leviticus 10 verses 16 to 20, Numbers 3, 1 to 4, Deuteronomy 10 verse 6, and Joshua 14 verse 1, 17 verse 4, 2400 hours 33. Who was Eliezer in the Bible? Eliezer was a priest and one of the four sons of Aaron. He was high priest when the Israelites began entering the Promised Land. His role started out relatively small, he was consecrated as a priest along with the rest of his brothers, Nadab, Abihu, and Ithamar, Exodus 28 verse 1. Eventually, he became chief over the chiefs of the Levites and oversaw the guards of the sanctuary, Numbers 332. What distinguished Eliezer is that he remained faithful to the Lord when the people around him did not. When the sons of Korah rebelled against Moses' leadership, God had Eliezer help clean up the mess, Numbers 16, 37, 40. Even his older brothers, Nadab and Abihu, did not follow God's instructions and offered unauthorized fire before the Lord, Leviticus 10 verse 1, Numbers 3, 4. Nadab and Abihu were consumed by fire from the Lord. Because Eliezer remained faithful to the Lord, God gave him more responsibility. When Aaron was going to die, God said, Let Aaron be gathered to his people for he shall not enter the land that I have given to the people of Israel, because you rebelled against my command at the waters of Meribah. Take Aaron and Eleazar his son and bring them up to Mount Hor. And strip Aaron of his garments and put them on Eleazar his son. And Aaron shall be gathered to his people and shall die there, Numbers 20, 24, 26. Eliezer's faithfulness allowed him the honor of leading his people into the promised land, something that even the most esteemed of Israel's leaders could not do. He helped Joshua break up the land among the Israelites, Numbers 34, 17, Joshua 14 verse 1, 1951. He started small, but his faithfulness to the Lord led Eliezer to a prominent position in Israel. The Gospel According to 1 Corinthians 15 What Jesus Did and Why Jesus Did It Jesus died to pay for our sins, why, in order to cleanse us from sin. Jesus was buried, why, to prove that he died. Jesus rose from the dead, why, in order to show that he was the Son of God who successfully defeated death and the grave. 
Jesus appeared bodily to many people, why, to prove he rose from the dead on the third day, in fulfillment of the scriptures. Hi, if you are enjoying my videos on the characters in the Bible and their individual giants, click on the like slash share slash comment down below. My next personality profile will be about Eli, a priest and a judge of Israel. His story is told in 1 Samuel 1-4. He is also mentioned in 1 Kings 2 verses 26 and 27.